All right, perfect. So now that we have the markup right here, all right, we got our form done, our login page. Let's go and create some of the uh, functionality that's going to receive that data with a post super global. All right. So first of all, let me just change this class here real quick. Call this SM. All right, perfect. That's just going to make this bigger here. That way we can concentrate on that, right? So you notice that I just change the class and it just makes it bigger. If you want, you can just leave the XS, which means extra small. This is this small, and we can do medium too, all right? But I just want to leave it like this. So that way I can write whatever I want there. So it expands the whole window. But anyway, so let's go on top of this page. What we are going to be doing is receiving the... Um, the information right here on top. I'm just gonna do everything in one page. All right. So, what are we going to do here? We are going to be receiving some of this information, and we already did some of this before when we created the form. We're talking about the post super global. So, for this, we need to receive that data from the form, and we're gonna use the eset function. And we are going to be checking for post super global with a value of submit. Right? We're sending that from the submit button. And we're going to do something when we see it. So let's just try to see if we get the information first. All right? Yes, we got the information. We got it. That would be this. Let's just submit it and we're not getting it alright that's why it's always good to check it so I made a mistake here somewhere and we need to find out where it is so let's go here as a matter of fact I think I know where it is but let's just double check it here see what's going on alright so we have here type submit we have even the name for the input we have the value submit but when we come here we can't find the information anywhere it's like it, the the form is not sending it so can you see what's going on can you check is it a, is it can you spot the problem all right just if you want to pause the video and check it you can check it I already saw the problem and it's just a, a misspelling of a word anyway is the misspelling of this word here it's called method and you probably already saw that when I was doing it I was kind of rushing through it and let's just refresh it click submit and now we got the information all right this happens when you are typing it fast and you have it in your head first all right so now that we know that we are receiving the data well what do we want to do with the data well we know that we are receiving all this data we're not just receiving the submit name right here we are receiving the password and we are receiving the username and let's make this a little bigger again right there so let's go ahead and receive that over here. All right, I'm so I'm losing my voice again. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so we're gonna receive that here. We're gonna receive this here. I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna do. We are going to receive the username in the same way we received the submit. We are going to receive the password. All right. And we can assign a variable. So let's assign it an username variable. And right there. Right? And let's just echo this thing out to see if let's just echo everything right out right there. I'm just gonna echo it right here, that's fine. Username, let's see if that is working. Let's do the echo for password. And you should be usually, all right, let's correct that. What you should be doing is copying this and pasting it right here so that way you don't make mistakes. All right, I just like making mistakes. The more mistakes I get, I make, the better I get. And just click submit, and I made another mistake here somewhere, right? So we just got to check here what's going on, right? So we click submit, we're supposed to be pulling all these values here. All right, so we're supposed to be pulling the username and supposed to be pulling the values out of here. So we type here, and we type here, 
there we go now right because what it is is that if you don't if you don't put the values here we're not gonna get it remember that what we're getting here this name here what we're getting it this is an a text input this name here means that is the value that you're gonna type in here not just when you click submit it, we, don't, we haven't set the value yet so we don't know the value when we type submit for example say Edwin and Superman is my password and click enter then you get that here so this is working we're receiving some information from the form all right and we got it up here next we're gonna be doing some connection with the database all right so thank you for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one